Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love and or life reading for the sign of Virgo. Um, you got a Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Also, happy birthday, Virgo. Um, Virgo, please keep in mind these readings are very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to, sorry, don't try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And roles can be reversed. What that means is this could be something that you're doing or going on around you. This could be something that your person is doing, going on around them. This could be something that a family member or a friend or coworker, hell, even your boss is doing and or going on around them. And you just happen to know about it. So please keep that in mind. If you need or want to get a personal reading that is tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off for first time clients who get their first reading with me. Um, also, um, there will be an extended to this reading. That link will be in the description box below as well as the comments section below as well. Um, I'm doing extended readings for everyone um, because not everybody can afford a personal reading and that's totally okay. Um, but I wanted to give everybody an option to get a little bit more detail. Um, it's, they're still timeless and they're still general, but I do use decks that I typically can't use on um, YouTube because they're being, you know, they're more risque and stuff like that um, that I get that I use on YouTube. Okay. So if you definitely want to check it out, um, you're more than welcome to do so. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, disclaimer, disclaimer. My readings can be a little um, intense. They sometimes can be triggering. Um, and sometimes they can have warnings that can that could pertain to love and or could pertain to any area of your life, um, your life or someone else's life. So that is not my intent to be negative and or to scare anyone. Nevertheless, I have to literally give the messages as they are given to me um, from spirit. I am not here to tell you what you want to hear so I can make a buck off of you. I'm here to give you the messages that spirit has given to me. Okay. So viewer discretion is advised. All right. What's going on for Virgo, please, in love and in life? What's going on for Virgo, please, in love and life? The chalice. Okay. It sees rejuvenation and fulfillment. So you're being rejuvenated here. You could be done with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, but it doesn't have to be. You're being revitalized. Love it. What else, please, for Virgo? Okay. We have the hourglass, times of the essence. Yes. There's something. Okay. So... As you're taking this time to recharge your batteries, to revitalize yourself, to fill your own cup, there's something that you need to focus on that is time is of the essence regarding a situation. Or someone around you is taking time to recharge themselves. What else please for Virgo and love? Okay. Water. Yeah. We got um, emotions are at their peak. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have the unicorn, good, fortune, and friendship. And then we have seduction, passion, and romance await you. So you could be, uh, it doesn't matter about gender, gender identity, preferences, or orientation. Okay, um, here's the deal. You, you, um, you're getting love elsewhere. I'm sorry. You are, you're getting love elsewhere, and it's from a water sign. And you're telling your person or partner that it's just a friend. You might be telling your partner or your friend that you're, you might be telling your partner that you're with your friends, but really you're with someone else and you're, you're with somebody else. Or your person is doing that. Yep. You're going to someone's house here. What else, please? For Virgo, you are, you are some, okay. So you Virgo could be telling your partner. If you're in a relationship that you're going to a friend's house or friend's houses when in reality you're going to a water signs house cancer pisces scorpio and that you're you're having sex or there's some type of seduction there or your person is telling you that they are going to their friend's house but really they're going to someone else's house and there's seduction and sex okay what else, please, for Virgo? Someone's getting their cup filled elsewhere. What else for Virgo, please? The lovers. Time is of the essence and lovers. Gemini energy, but it doesn't have to be. So 
the house and lovers. Yep. Oh my gosh, my nose is going crazy. So, oh my neck. When my nose starts itching like that, it means I'm really tapped in. And it's a very important message to listen, Virgo. I'm not saying it's you. I'm not accusing your person. But somebody here is fucking cheating. Somebody here is definitely cheating. And they're cheating with a water sign. Or a water sign is cheating. If you're, you know. So you could, you there. Somebody here is going to a lover's house. Meanwhile, they tell their person that they're going to a friend's house, but really they're going to go see this person. Marriage. You could be married to a water sign, but there's a lover here, Virgo. You could be married to a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And you're going to a lover's house, Virgo, or your person, you're married to them, and they're going to a lover's house. Tell me more. You, oh, that's a weird message. Listen, okay. This is messy, Virgo. This is fucking messy. Listen. Either you are sleeping with your partner, like your partner is either coworker or friend or ex-friend or ex-coworker, or your person is sleeping with one of your friends. Or co-workers or ex-friends or ex-co-workers because I got toil and labor under a good friend and fortune so what else please for Virgo messy messy mm -mm. journey yep someone here is telling that their per main female here so somebody here is working the main female here is working so this could be you this could be your partner so this main female, main female is working, and then they're going to receive a message that this bullshit's going on behind their back from the third party. Ooh, this is messy, Virgo. Please tell me that you're not doing this. I'm going to get some tarot on it. Please tell me it's not you doing this. And you could have Virgo again, sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Messy, Virgo. This is a messy situation. Very messy. All right, let's see. Show me Virgo's energy. What is Virgo doing? Show me Virgo directly. Show me Virgo, please. Four of Wands in the reverse. Not being stable. Not being solid. Causing some form of chaos here. Or there's going to be a disruption. King of Wands reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Acting on your own best. Or acting on your own interests. And not of the interests of a relationship. Being very arrogant. Very stubborn. Um, the King of Wands in reverse is a bit of a player or play it. Show me Virgo's energy. Five of Cups reverse. Scorpio energy. Not having any remorse or regret about it either. Okay. Wow. All right, let's look at your person. Show me Virgo's person. Show me Virgo's person, please. Three of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, yeah. You're the person that you're thinking of is your third party. Sorry, Virgo, but it looks like it's you. It looks like you're cheating. Magician in the reverse. Bottom of the deck. Virgo, Gemini. Manipulation here. That's you. Show me Virgo's person, please. Nine of Wands in reverse. Not having proper boundaries. Needing to... um. This third party doesn't care. They don't care that they're the third party. They don't care that they're the side chick, side piece, side dude, side mister, side mistress. They don't give a shit. This part, this third party doesn't have any more compass or ethics. They're a home wrecker, male or female, it doesn't matter. And it looks like you're okay with it. Yeah, four of swords in reverse. This person is very impulsive as well. 
They love the drama, Virgo. This person loves the drama. And you're feeding it to them. Bad manipulation here, Virgo. Looks like it's you. It looks like it's you. And for some of you going to clap at me and say, oh, it's not me. Someone else. Then this isn't your reading. It could be. It obviously can't be reversed. It could be somebody else. Um, but there are Virgos out there who do this. Okay. So don't come for me in the comment section. Just saying. Damn. Mm -mm. What's the potential outcome for Virgo, please? In this relationship. Now, again, Virgo could very well could be you, but it could also be your person. So keep that in mind. Okay, what's an outcome of this for Virgo? Potential outcome? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Loss of stability. Not not cooperating. Not building anything. Not getting along. Loss of support. Whether it be financial or emotional, doesn't matter. Because of ego. Masculine energy. You could be a masculine Virgo. We got, um, or, you know, could even could be a feminine Virgo. I don't know. I don't know your life like that. But this is um, an Aries Taurus Leo energy. This is someone who's very arrogant. Got a big nasty ego. No one wants to deal with someone who's got a nasty ego. Someone who's a traitor who's incredibly selfish with a hangman here. Pisces energy. Someone who acts careless and reckless and doesn't give a shit about nobody but them damn selves. Barely even cares about themselves. Aries energy. Or their family. Someone doesn't even care about their family. And about what the time and the investment that their person has put into this family. That could be you. That could be a person. I hope it's not you, Virgo. I really hope that this isn't you. I hope this isn't you doing this. Okay? Like, seriously. That's some bullshit. If it's you. Okay, any more messages, please, for Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. There's intuition. You need to listen to your intuition, or someone needs to listen to their intuition. Forty-one breaks down to four. Uh, Forty-one breaks down to five, and there's major changes coming regarding your family, happy family. Uh, Archangel Uriel is also looking over your family right now. Yin yang in the reverse. There's no balance here. The masculine and feminine energy is not balanced. Something's been someone hasn't mastered themselves. Number 22 in reverse. Someone has not mastered themselves. You or them. What else, please? Someone needs to get control over themselves. Yeah, door to value. Someone's not balanced regarding finances. Also, someone is not balanced regarding got two fours now. Someone's also not balanced within um themselves, period. Their emotions aren't balanced. You might be dealing with someone, whether it's the current person or the third party. Or, again, you could be the third party. Your person could have the third party or be the third party. I don't know. But there's a there's major imbalances here. There's hostilities that are coming here. And fifth shocker here. Someone doesn't want to argue and fight, but there's a, there's a major fight coming. There's a major fight coming. One more. One more for Virgo, please. Anything else? Yeah, Angel of Strength, Leo Energy. There's a need to, another five. Someone needs to have courage and speak the truth. You or them. Someone in decision here. Someone's about to make a very big decision that they're not going to want to heal this anymore with Angel of Healing. With an, Someone doesn't have anxiety anymore, but they, they're going to speak the truth that they're not happy. They don't want to weather the storm. They don't want someone to be jealous, but they do want it to come to an end. The, the the world card with the attachment it comes to an end it's coming to an end whatever it is is coming to an end i don't know if you're the one who's getting left for a third party or if your person's leaving um someone to be with you if you're the third party or if you're leaving someone for a third party i don't know or if your person's leaving you for a third party i don't know yeah there's other choices here if someone's got more than one choice i don't know if it's you be you a little bit, but it could obviously be your person or you know someone else. Who is 
Virgo dealing with regarding this reading? Who is Virgo dealing with regarding this reading, please? Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's a Virgo dealing with, please? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's messy. This is messy. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Got your damn self, Virgo here. We also got Pisces, Bob deck, and Gemini. And we also have Cancer. So it could be a combination of any, any of these signs. Okay, or you can have in your chart or anyone else can have it in their chart. Okay? All right, let's see. Guidance. Guidance, please, for Virgo. Guidance, please, for Virgo regarding this reading, please. Got any guidance for Virgo regarding this reading? Opportunity in the reverse. Someone is going to lose out on a major opportunity in finances and relationship and instability because of this. You or someone else? What else, please? Yeah, it's time to take action. Someone is someone's about to lose the opportunity to take action here. Okay, big happy changes can come, right? But there needs to be action. Yeah, and the action is let go. Whew. Um, you are being oh asked to look at your to talk to your your ask your angels and guides here within the next few weeks. So you can make this, this, either you make this decision or your person makes this decision, okay? All right, well, Virgo, that has been your reading. I really hope that it, this is not you <laughs> doing this, okay? Um, I really hope that it helps you, though. Again, if you want or need to get a personal reading that is tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, my email is in the description box below. Um, as well, uh, I do give $10 off for first-time clients who get their first reading with me. And the link to the extended will be in the description box and in the comment section below. Someone might be getting left out in the cold, though. Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So, anyways, please take care of yourself. Um, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Take care of yourself till next time. Bye.